everybody and welcome to Pre-K Discovery with Miss Barb. How are you today? I have a really good story for you today and a lesson and wait till you find out what we're going to be talking about. So let's look at the calendar because it's always a very good place to start and you can see that it's still September. S-E-P-T-E-M-B-E-R. But today is the last day in September that you and I will be meeting for Pre-K Discovery. And then when you come back, it's gonna be a new month and we're gonna learn a new month. So let's practice our months of the year song and let's figure out what month next month is gonna be when we come up here. You guys ready? January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. So if this is September, when we come back next week, it's gonna be October because that's what the song said. All right, so last week when we did this, it was the first day of autumn and today is the 29th and that is a lot to count. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. 29 and we have one more day left and that's tomorrow so let's see what day of the week it is days of the week 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 well there's sunday and there's monday there's tuesday and there's wednesday there's thursday and there's friday and then there's saturday days of the week 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 well, because you're here with me at Pre-K Discovery, we know that it is Tuesday. So we know that from our song. Um, the weather is going to start getting a little bit cooler now that it's fall. Today was actually a cool day. So that is just because we're starting into fall and pretty soon it's going to be winter. And before you know it, we're going to be back into spring again. So let's look at our letter of the day. Our letter of the day today, everyone, is the letter A. The letter A, and let me show you what the letter A looks like. This is the letter A. Can you see the letter A? Yes, you can. And letter A is easy to make, and it's a line down, a line down, and a line across, the letter A. So let's talk about some words that start with the letter A. So let me move this a little bit closer. Hold on. Because I want you to be able to see them. And let me move that. I know that was, I, all right. So let's talk about words that start with the letter A. So this is our letter A. So the first one we're gonna look at is an aardvark. An aardvark. A A R D V A R K. An aardvark. And they're kind of interesting looking. Look at their long tail. I'm sorry, in their long nose. Look at that. So I was confused because Miss Barb always thought that the aardvark was the same thing as an anteater. But they're different. They're two different animals. This is what an ant eater looks like. A N T E A T E R, ant eater. And an ant eater has a very long nose, also. Maybe that's why I was confused. And that's because they have to get down in those ant heels and they have to eat ants. Another word that we have for the letter A today is Africa. And Africa is a continent, it's very large. And the reason Miss Barr picked Africa, A-F-R-I-C-A, -A, as our A word is because that is where you would find the aardvark, that is where he lives at, in Africa. So our last A word of the day is ant, A-N-T, simple as that, ant. And the reason that I picked the letter A for ant is because the story we're gonna read today is called The Ant and the Grasshopper. It's a really good story about how you're supposed to get ready for the winter. 
And that's what ants have to do. And after the story, when you come back today, we are going to make an ant that looks just like this one. Can you see him? There he is with his legs and everything. So that is Miss Barb's craft for today, an ant. So we're going to talk about ants, and we are going to read The Ant and the Grasshopper. So I'll see you after the story. The Ants and the Grasshopper. One spring day, the world was waking from winter. The ants were busy digging a new home. Gangway, I'm practicing backflips, said the grasshopper. How can you play when there is work to do, asked an ant. After a rainy summer day, the ants built a hill. The grasshopper danced about the ant hill. The ants knew their shelter was more important than dancing. One cool fall day, the ants carried food home. The little ants were always working and the grasshopper laughed. <laughs> he began to play his fiddle. The ants knew gathering food was more important than fiddling. Soon came a winter's day and the grasshopper was cold. He asked the ants if he could share their home. What did you do all spring while we worked, asked an ant. What did you do all summer, asked another. What did you do during the fall while we gathered food, asked an ant. To stay warm, you'll have to spend all winter playing, said the ants. The moral of the story is, it's best to prepare for the days of necessity. The Ant and the Grasshopper. What a good story. It showed us how hard work pays off. The ants worked hard all summer long and all during the fall. And then in the winter, that's when they were allowed to have fun because there's nothing ants were gonna do outside. So we talked about ants earlier before we read the story at the beginning of our lesson. So today we're going to make an ant and he's gonna look something like this. Not quite, but close. All right, so I have three black circles. One, two, three. And these are my ant's body parts because an ant, as you can see, has three body parts, the head, the thorax and the abdomen. And the thorax is where his legs are attached to him. And he's got some antennas too. So these are the three parts of an ant, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. So my ant, of course, has three parts, three black circles. And I'm gonna take, glue those together. And while I'm gluing them together, I'm gonna tell you some really, really cool ant facts that I bet you did not know about ants. So ants, and I thought this one was pretty cool because I did not know this. Ants have two stomachs, two, not just one, but two. It says one is for themselves and their one other one is to share food with their ants. Could you imagine if you had two stomachs? You could eat twice the desserts. All right, so now I've glued my three body parts together. I don't know if you can see it because it's black there. Now you can see it a little bit better. Okay. so. The next thing I'm gonna add are some legs. And my ant is an insect, so that means that he has six legs. I only have three of these, but when you see what I'm gonna do with them, I'm gonna push them through the circles that I put in here, like this. Oop, and his abdomen just fell right off. All right, let's get that back on there. Sometimes the glue takes a little bit longer to dry, and I'm gonna take these legs and I'm gonna bend it like this. So there's one leg. And I'm gonna bend it like this. And then now he's got one leg. How many legs did I say ants had? They have six, because they're insects. So I'm gonna stick the other ones through there. So what else can I tell you about ants? Oh, all ants, soldiers and the queen, are female. Did you know that? They're girl ants. And then they have a few males in their colony and they're called drones. Drones. 
So there's there's three in my legs, six, four of them. Let's stick these. I got to restick all these back on together before it's finished, and I'll show it to you. If you're using paper, it might work a little bit better. Miss Barb's using foam, and sometimes foam works better with like the hot glue. And I just didn't want to get the hot glue gun out. So let's see if I can stick these back on there again. All right, let's hold them real tight. I don't have any tape in here with me, so I can't tape them on. So there is my ant and his six legs. I'm gonna bend them a little bit so he stands up kinda. Well, he's not gonna stand up very well. All right, so what makes him different from a spider? Spiders have eight legs and insects have six legs. All right, so another fact about ants are they are super, super strong. Did you know that? Ants can lift their own hundreds of their body weight. That means that they can lift up things that are way heavier than them. So I'm gonna give my ants some googly eyes. So if you don't have any googly eyes at home, you can always just draw some eyes on there. Because Miss Barb doesn't want you trying to do something at home that you don't have, so she tries to make it so that you can make it out of things you find around the house. And I'm sure you can find some black paper or you could color it and make it black. So there's his eyes, look at that, and his legs. And what else does he need? This one has antennas, but I don't have anything to give him an antenna, so we're gonna leave my ant like this. So there's my ants. So one more fact about ants before Miss Barb goes is that they live all around the world, the globe. So if you look at the globe, ants are everywhere. The only places you will not find ants are Antarctica, Greenland, Iceland, parts of Polynesia, and the Hawaiian Islands. I didn't know that. Maybe Miss Barb should go to Hawaii and she won't have to worry about ants eating her picnic. So everybody, it's all about ants today. Have a great day and goodbye.